have you ever felt? Are you listening? Damn. Uh. Good morning, YouTube. Okay, so today, uh, last clip you saw was me prepping myself to go to work. Two days have passed because <laughs> I'm that such a great vlogger, and uh, it is now Saturday, and I am currently in the process of changing my ostomy bag. So, this is sort of a day in life. It's one of the things that I do every day. So, here we go. There you see my hairy belly and my stoma. I'm currently shaving around where I'm going to be sticking on my appliance. And uh, let's see if I can sort of kind of give you guys a. Uh, hold on a sec here. So, here we go. Just gonna shave this. It's a bit of a pain to do while recording, so I'm just gonna pause. But uh, I'll shave this, and then I'll show you guys what's next. All right, so shaving's done. I'm just using a baby wipe right now to wipe all the uh, loose hairs off my flabby belly. Gotta love bulking. Let's be honest. I always have a flabby belly. Anyways. Now what I'm going to do. Use this skin prep. Basically what this does is it pre it's, in, it, it's in the title. It prepares your skin. For the ostomy wafer and what it does is it kind of cleans up any and or all adhesive off of yourself and it just helps it stick better to you it does burn a little but uh it's not too, too bad. Now what I do is I air dry it. Just like this. And then, get ready to put the wafer on. To do that, I always dry off my stoma because it's kind of kind of wet. So I dry it up. It's very hard to film this laying down while doing it, but uh, let's try okay. now. Put this. Cut this, pre-cut it already because it's the same size every time. And then I add a little, kind of like um, putty. It's a putty ring. And that helps with um, keeping a better seal for you. So I'm just going to slide this over. like that. Sorry. Again. Terrible, terrible. So for anyone who's wondering what this is, it's uh, the end of my intestine. I might have told you guys before, but uh, some of you might be new to watching my videos and don't know this, but uh, I'm missing my entire large intestine, and this is the very end of my small intestine. And I've been living with this for 
two years now, but uh, I've had them before. I've had it like this before. So snap the bag back on. Just like that. And then another reason I have these baby wipes, and it's not 100% sanitary, but it's clean enough for now until I get to a sink. But uh, wipe off my hands. And then I just hold my hand on the appliance for a while until the glue all sets nice and hard, like nice, and uh, it stays secured. So I'm just going to do this, and then uh, we're going to get ready because we're actually going on a shopping trip uh, to go pick up some protein powder. So we'll see you in the next clip. So before we go, I figured I'll probably just show you guys what my setup looks like in uh, this room. Basically I got a bed set up with a bunch of pillows so that I can prop myself up. Bed pad, I keep my napkins obviously and my baby wipes right there. But then I have this little Rubbermaid drawer thing set up with everything I need to change the bag. So here's my little razor. Some scissors to cut my wafers and stuff. And then I just keep some extra medical supplies here. Silver nitrate to cauterize things if I ever need to. And then uh, some other random things. This is the ring I was telling you guys about. I keep a bunch of those in this drawer along with my skin prep that I was telling you I had and then the bags themselves along with the wafers and then I also have like garbage bags in here that I use to put all the waste in and in here is again some more medical supplies that we don't really use very much but I do have tensor bandages I have gauze I have disposable, uh, disposable type uh, bed pads, ice packs, uh, you name it. And I basically keep it all in there so it's nice and tidy and it doesn't overtake my whole life. Um, so I like it like that. It keeps things better for me. But uh, anyway, that's it. Don't mind the garbage bags, we're in the process of uh, decluttering and this stuff has to go to the garbage obviously. But um, yeah, we're going to head over, get going and we'll see you in the next clip. This time I mean it. Mm -hmm.